I've already made a video on this radio but um, decided to make another one because the last one I made I was only showing it working no explanation as to what it is what it does how it works and yada 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 so um, this one's going to be a bit descriptive than the last that means you have to put up with my voice for a wee while what you're looking at now is a Telefunken Arcolette 3 which dates from 1928 or so or at least that was the year it was released. It's a German radio, regenerative receiver, pretty simple in build. Now um, it's got a couple of dials at the front and a wee switch which makes it look like a face sticking out its tongue, sort of. Kind of thing you'd expect to see in a Betty Boop cartoon from around that era, or at least thereafter, considering Betty Boop was created in 1930, but I'm not going to give you a history lesson on cartoons or Max Fleischer, Betty Boop, etc. This is after the um, all about the radio after all. On the left hand we have the regeneration control, which is a variable capacitor, just like the um, tuning control right there. The bottom we've got a three-way switch for medium wave and two long wave um, bands. Obviously we don't have any long wave stations in Australia, but I've found anyway that um, depending upon how this thing is set. You can actually pick up medium and medium wave stations on the first long wave switch setting. Uh, this is a battery radio. Obviously, I'm not using batteries in this case. So I'm using a old power supply here for the filaments, which are four volts in this case, being a European radio from that era. And my little home-built B battery eliminator which um, gives you 45 volts and 90 volts as well as a negative bias C battery now, this thing is pretty simple in build I'm just going to give you a quick um, description it's got a voltage doubler circuit for the B plus using a 30 volt um, transformer I got from Nick Smith God knows when um, being a doubler obviously you got um, yeah just the first rectified voltage 30 volts um, rectified up approximately gives you about 45 volts DC doubled about 90 volts so that's pretty neat but another little transformer half wave rectified negatively and a uh, um, potentiometer as well to give you anywhere from around about 0 to 37 volts ain't pretty to look at because it's all handwritten in uh, a liquid paper pen but uh, I don't know I'll pop a circuit somewhere but anyway, on to the radio, back to the radio. As I said, it's an Arcolette 3. Open up the lid. It's got a rather yellowed little insert. Tells you what valves to put in there, either 2 volt filament valves or 4 volt. Now, some of the valves I've got in here actually don't match what's on there. It's all in German, by the way, if you want to have a look. It's a bit worn out. I have a bunch of old Telefunken valves, so I pretty much put in what I figured worked, the one that's actually specified for that first position which is a regenerative detector didn't pick up 3CR S3CR is pretty much the only station I listened to on AM I had to do something about that so I put in a higher gain valve now that one's on running on, on the 45 volt rail the two audio valves are on the 90 volt rail so what have we got here, let me have a look Oh yeah, RE034, RE124, and an RE134. Now these are all directly heated triodes. They're not terribly cheap, but I bought them when, well, you know, I keep an eye out for a bargain. Try to anyway. Anyway, I'm going to close that. You can hear my dog getting all sooky in the background because she doesn't get enough attention. Sorry Tara, you're not getting any now. Anyway, turn on the filament. Turn on, uh, reach around there. Oh, there we go. 3CR. It's on the swing and sway program. That's on just before um, steam radio, but... So ends uh, another... There it is going into regeneration. Another concert by the world renowned chamber music society of lower basin streets. There you go. And more is a pity, but uh, it's, we'll um, have, uh, no, we've got actually, a couple of. I'll just silence episodes. that. 
It's actually built for high impedance earphones, but I'm running the output into a little 100 volt line transformer as an impedance matcher. Got a little rotary switch there to for the different taps, like different impedances. So yeah, it's going into there, going into the transformer, out of the transformer into the little Bakelite speaker, which sounds pretty nifty. I'm just going to turn the bias up to turn on that output stage. I hope those down in Geelong enjoyed that, particularly John Thompson and uh um, yeah it's company. pretty neat it does john the job. Uh, will be back in beautifully a, actually uh on the air in a couple of weeks time with uh... so yeah there's my obligatory radio video for this saturday afternoon while i transcode this thing i want to listen to this radio so hopefully you enjoyed it any questions you got leave them in the comments section lovely just another look on the inside for those that like gut shots. Oh yes, almost forgot. It's got three antenna inputs. Now all it is, one's going direct to the regenerative detector coil. Um, the other two are going via capacitors. Now one thing I noticed, yes. so let's just turn up the bias to again to get Australian, some audio. Uh, yes. Australian glass. Our Different station. Sunny in 27. Yet another Perth different station. Adelaide possible light showers about currently 15. There you Adelaide go, weather. That has helped three generations of. Well, listen, this is the vocal. And, Back to 3CR. Uh, and yeah, the voice thought you might find that interesting, the, uh, but anyway, as I was saying, Australian I'm going to nick off now, Brian transcode this thing, upload to, um, it, and listen to this at the same time. There's multitasking for you. Uh, See ya. This is, uh,